yeah, obviously frustrated and disappointed there because I thought that the, the boys worked so hard um, for 87 minutes and then we switch off and the penalty I've got no, I've heard some people say it was a pen, some not. For me, you're playing top of the league or a team that's second in the table and you give a referee an opportunity you know, in front of the, the main home support, then I, I think nine out of ten times the ref's going to give it and I've got no qualms with it, with it with the penalty as well. It's just a shame for all the hard work that the boys put in, um, you know, to concede at the end. But, but you know, on the whole, if you come to a team that are flying like, like um, the meeting are, you almost get something. You, you, at the end of the day, we've come away, we've got no points, so, and I'm really disappointed. We haven't got a right back, so we, we don't have a right back. We've tried, we've worked tirelessly uh, over the last week or so uh, to bring some bodies in. Uh, we've managed to bring Tom Euler in uh, on loan from Burton. Tom had a, a, a good spell this last season. Uh, we've brought Martin Riley, uh, a centre half, who just had a little bit of experience, but we struggled. And obviously, we saw that last week when. You know, we played people in that position, and it was it was a bit much for them. And, and Martin came in, and I thought he was outstanding uh, today. Um, and, and look, we, we decided to, you know, I think the last home game that we played in the league, other than the um, uh, Sturbridge game, we, we played three five two. Um, we changed shape today, really, to, to counteract the dangers that um, and enough because we always take into account the team that we're playing against. Um, and I thought, it, you know, uh, by and large, it, it obviously worked, and, uh, and I thought the shape was, was, was very good. Uh, but it's good to have that bit of flexibility that you're able to play. You, you know, have plan A, plan B, and we need plan C, and, and, and unfortunately, we have that. And uh, I think now we've just got to move forward, try and get a couple of people in, you know, in the building because we are right on numbers, and we all know that. And we are really, really trying. Everybody in the club is trying hard to bring a couple more players in, and. Um, you know, we need to we, we need to get a little bit of positivity back in, into the dressing room, really, because it's a naturally I'm conceding. You know, in the 87th minute or 88th, it, it's going to be a little bit flat. But you know, we're back the boys, and we're going in bed for the home Monday. Uh, another tough challenge. It's a very very quick turnaround. But if the lads put that kind of effort in, then it'll stand us in good stead moving forward. I mean, I know that there's bus strikes, there's train strikes, there's nurse strikes, there's every strike in the world, and. You know, fortunately for us, there wasn't a Redditch United support strike because the, I thought that I thought the you know the away support once again was tremendous. They they backed the boys and they, they pushed the boys on, and um, you know obviously they're going to be disappointed at the end, like we all are. But the sport was brilliant. We'll need them all back at the Trico on Monday to you know to give us to be the 12th man as they have been all season.